How surprised were you that the Eagles just routed Minnesota? Well, it was shocking. I picked the, I picked the Eagles to predict this game, uh, to win this game. I predicted they'd win the game, and I thought they would, but I thought it would be significantly closer than what it was. I couldn't believe how porous the, the, the Vikings' defense was. They were number one in the NFL coming into the game against a backup quarterback that hadn't thrown for over 300 yards uh, since 2014, and yet Nick Foles shredded them, ripped them absolutely apart. Uh, the big plays that they gave up, the way they were able to do what they wanted, when they wanted, just snatched the momentum out of their chest. I knew that that Case Keenum wouldn't be able to hold it down in such hostile confines. Uh, but I thought it would be a nail-biter between two elite defenses, and instead it was absolute obliteration. It was embarrassing what happened to the Minnesota Vikings. I did not expect that. I didn't expect it either. I was very surprised, but not because the Vikings' defense was so bad or anything like that but because of, yes, how well Nick Foles played when Carson Wentz went down. I was sure their season was over. Nick Foles wasn't any good. I saw it before. Of course, it's with Jeff Fisher, so you, maybe you do have to throw that out. But Nick Foles really played very well, and what that comes down to more than anything is Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson is not just a kind of quarterback-friendly guy who helped along Carson Wentz, putting him in the right environment early in his career. This guy is showing himself to be, this year so far, a great head coach. The adjustments he made for Foles were extraordinary, and the Eagles were shocking how easily, after that first couple, play, uh, couple possessions, how easily they handled the Vikings team, which I really thought was the best team left in the playoffs.